Hi again. Um, we're in the studio at the exhibition hall of the Association Congress and um, we'll be doing uh, our last interviews with um, some people from the Technology Forum. Men from the Technology Forum because it seems in this uh, event tool industry it's almost um, uh, only uh, men who are dominating this. Uh, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> So, uh, very welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, you're live on the, on the stream now. Hello. And uh, what's your name? Uh, Michael Douglas. All I'm right. From Genie Mobile. Genie Mobile. And what's Genie Mobile doing? Uh, well, we provide uh, mobile and web uh, engagement platforms for events, but also for associations to engage their membership year round. And in year fact, round. We, okay. In fact, we actually like to join those things together so that associations have one solution for both their events. You you are going and, uh, too fast for me. There is a mobile event app that I understand. A, there is a mobile events app, and indeed there was there was a mobile events app provided for this event. Right. So, uh, yep. so the good news is, uh, 184 people I think have used it. And so that's Good. a great opportunity really for the for the people here to understand a bit more about it. Sure. So they've been able to uh, to certainly un consult and understand what's going on at the event, plan their plan their um, uh, sessions, plan their time. They've been networking with each other, so we can see there's been quite a lot of activity on that. So that's really, really, really good. It's been a good, good opportunity for people to see. It. How many people do have a smartphone on a on an event like this? Well. Really, I mean, the, the, the figures for smartphone ownership are growing all the time and generally speaking are usually considered at the moment to be something in the region of about 50% of people. Half. However, yeah. you start looking at the sort of business audiences that most of our customers work with and actually that's much higher. Okay. So, good. so it really, you know, really looking at being able to cover, you know, up to, up to sort of 70%. And, right. and, and even people who don't have a smartphone or a particular type of smartphone but do have internet on their phone can still be engaged using, using the mobile app. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but if you say uh, half, half of the, the population, um, that means that everybody with a smartphone has used the app here because 184, uh, I think it's 350, 360 yeah. people uh, participating here. Uh, well, I'd say so. I mean, I would, I can't, I would imagine there's some people who have a smartphone who haven't used it, but obviously you're right. It means, yeah. it means that the majority of people who have, who could try it have done. Um, and one of the other things that's interesting is we can see how often they used it and the average time is 10 times. Okay. So 10 times over a couple of days on average really shows I think that people were getting something out of it sure. for, for them to want to go back and use it again and, and again. And can you see uh, which pages people have been visiting? Um, you can. I, I, uh, I did look earlier and actually what we've seen is, is certainly the networking has been important. A lot of people have been, have been using that to look up to see who else is here. Um, and, and because there is an attendee list in the there's, event there's, app. There's an attendee list in there, so, so people are able to do that and we've, we know that, that many, many messages have been sent between people. Wow. So that's good, so people are arranging to see each other, seeking out contacts that, that are going to improve their, the value that they get from the event. Um, but the other thing, which is very standard, is, is, the, is the schedule, because of course people, there's lots of choice here, lots of choice of different, different sessions to go to, people are able to, to Pick in advance, and it means they can see at a glance what they what their next thing is. So that's one of the things that people come back to reference again and again. Sure. They find useful. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of events um, can you advise the planners to use an event app for? Well, I think there's the, the, there's the different focuses for different types of events. Now, this is a great example of uh, an event where networking is a really good addition, and and so I think you know we work with events of all shapes and sizes, but when you've got sort of hundreds of people um, rather than many thousands of people you can often find that you get very good penetration of usage so you know you may see 70 80 percent of how, how come because I thought the bigger the better well, uh, talking about networking and talking about well, mobile I think, apps I think once well and, and certainly there's no there's no problem with it being bigger but when you when you get to a much much bigger event then then it may well be and it's often the case that you'll find it's much more of an exhibition. Um, and, and you know, so then the focus is much more about engaging exhibitors, making meetings with exhibitors, uh, people finding their way around a large exhibition floor. So we do work with some of the largest sort of trade shows in the world, really, and, 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 and then 
you know that's where the focus shifts to. It's a slightly different, different, Clear. different piece. But but for, for the attendees, there's value in both things depending sure. on what they're there to do. And you say networking is an important part of it. Um, there is an attendee list, but how do I get connected with? with another attendee what if I think wow I want to talk to you for example and I find your name on the app how do I connect with you well you one of the things that you can you do is you, you don't you don't see everybody's contact details because you know that's that's not really for the organizer to show but it's okay for the organizer to show who's there and then within the system you can send them a message so they receive messages okay and so it's a messages. closed system it's a closed and system you can so, and it's a so all right so I can send you a message but I won't see your email yeah. the system makes sure that you get the private Correct. message wow. Correct. so so people have okay. been doing that and you know and they'll have been saying that we'll meet at the coffee break and, and, and things like that and seek, seeking each other out okay. and you because you can see what people are interested in you're able to search for the for people who have the same interests as you okay Last question. What do you think about the speech of Andrew Keane yesterday? I, I quite in. Well, I, I no. I, I actually found it. A, I, I don't mind that he was being quite controversial. I think that's fine. Um, and I don't, but I do think he didn't really do his homework about associations. I think he. I think he. He had an assumption that the associations are in no way looking forward and, and, and I think that he, if, he, if he'd have looked a bit closer he probably would have understood a bit more that associations are actually in many ways benefiting from the changes that he described. He kind of sort of painted a dystopian dystopian uh, future and I think actually that associations in many ways are the original social networks and, and, and stand to gain more than most organisations out, out, of, out of the technology that's available. So, yeah. you know, he was controversial, but I felt a little unfair. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And uh, enjoy the rest of, uh, of the day. Great. Oh, and uh, thank you for being thank here in the studio. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, then I think there is...